December in Southern California. It's getting kind of dark. But just wanted to take a second to talk a little bit about the Svart Children 701. Been riding her for about a month now. And uh, I am extremely impressed. We'll get it out of the way immediately. I don't really have any complaints about this bike at all. Uh, I'm a pretty new rider. Don't have a lot of experience, so my opinions are predicated on my lack of experience, bear that in mind, but uh, really the only thing that kind of annoys me is uh, I think the dash, as, as most reviews say, the dash is pretty low end. Um, it's just an LCD, but the main thing that bugs me about it is when I'm sitting on the bike, I wish there was a way to angle it. I wish I could push it back that way a little bit because it doesn't hit my line of sight dead on. Uh, so if there was a way to adjust the angle that way, that would be really cool. Um, this is not really a nitpick. This is my fault because I'm fat. But uh, I could probably use a heavier spring in the rear shock as well as uh, in the fork. Um, sags a little too much I think uh, it, it works fine the suspension is nice but I do feel like I'm having to add a little too much preload to the rear shock uh, front shocks are not preload adjustable uh, this bike is stock I did add the Husqvarna lever guards uh, as well as the little axle slider protector things on the fork and on the swing arm um, yeah what else can I say I mean it's an it's a fantastic bike I'm gonna stand in the street for a second here it's amazing I, I really love it uh, again my first bike so my opinions and thoughts on it are going to evolve I'm sure but uh, I will continue to just familiarize myself with it and uh, as I get more comfortable on it and learn more, I'll follow up these little videos with some more tidbits of information. Wonderful bike, wonderful. Let's, uh, let's start her up. Because everybody likes to do it. Start up. The dash looks much better at night. When it's, when it's dark uh, outside, when the sun is going down and the dash lights up, uh, it's much more usable, I think. Let's fire it up. Stop it, boss. But uh, let's give her a little, a little bug. Okay. The, the headlight is really nice too, it's got that kind of halo effect, and you don't notice it as much when the bike's on, but if I turn it off, check this out. And then you can really see the, the halo. I think that's very neat. The overall design on this bike is just, it's, it's so well done. You can tell it's assembled with quality materials. You can tell the designers put a lot of thought into it. Um, Another interesting thing, the bike runs really lean, uh, especially when it's idling and in the low RPMs, it's rough. And this header, if I let it idle for, you know, 5-10 minutes, this header will begin to blow. That's how lean this bike runs. So, uh, apparently the internet says there's a few ways to handle that, and uh, I will be probably doing something about that in the not too distant future. 
So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Svart Pillin 701, the hills of Simi Valley, a beautiful December evening. Okie dokie, till the next time, goodbye.